Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Saris Door County electric bike rack on our 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe. Now this is gonna be a bike rack designed to be used with e-bikes. It has a motor in it to help raise and lower the entire platform by connecting to the seven-way wiring on the back of your Tahoe. That gives it power to raise up and down. It provides lighting functions at the back end for our tail lights, brake lights, any sort of turn signals we're gonna be using. And then it does hold up to 60 pounds per bike. So it's gonna be good for some of those e-bikes. It holds the bike by the straps at the bottom in these trays, as well as by our frame mount up here with a strap right around the frame. Frame contact does mean we do wanna avoid carbon frame bikes, but alternative frame should be just fine because these cradles can rotate around and move around the mast to adapt to those different frame styles. Let's check it out. Like many other platform racks, you do have the ability to tilt this away with the bikes loaded. There's a notch right here that we can turn, push and turn to unlock it using this pedal that we can then tilt it down. I will say that it doesn't tilt very much, but it does provide enough room on the Tahoe to at least clear past the mast. But you can see with our bike, it would make contact with the handlebars. I'll stop it right there. So depending on the bike you have on here, you might find that yours is just fine. If you've got more narrow handlebars, you could have clearance. At the end of the day though, you still at least have partial clearance. So if you do need to get something out of the back, this is enough room for me to sneak my way in here, grab something out of the back if I need it, and work my way out. So it's not totally lost. You just can't fully open that door unless you've got the right bike. Now the big thing with this bike rack, like I mentioned, is the ability to raise up and down with the buttons on the side. I'll move out of the way so the camera can kind of see. You've got your up arrow, down arrow, and a pause. That down arrow will let the whole platform lower down so the bike rack is much easier to get to and we can get those bikes loaded or unloaded much easier. As it lowers down, you'll hear some beeping and once it reaches the bottom, that beeping will continue just to let us know that it's not in the driving position. But from here, we can get the bike unloaded starting with our wheel straps. We'll just lift or push this tab down, lift it up, sorry to release the ratcheting wheel strap. Whenever you do hook those in, they actually ratchet in place, lifting that full lever up. So that's how those work to get a nice tight hold. But then you just lift up the small portion to release it. And then once you've got both of the wheel straps off, you're able to do the same thing with the strap around the frame. So this one just wraps around Make sure you've got a hand kind of on the bike to stabilize it. And from here, you can wheel it up or down. Now, obviously we're not all the way to the ground right now. So it's maybe not the easiest thing in the world. And our pedal is kind of getting in the way of the mast. But this does prevent the need to fully lift the bike. Not having to lift the bike all the way up to the platform is really nice though. Even if it doesn't reach all the way, it's still a big assist, especially on a taller car like this with those heavy e-bikes. Personally, I'd maybe prefer something that just comes with a ramp that leads me all the way to the ground if I'm worried about that. Something like the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack would be my personal choice, but this could be a nice option also, especially since you've got that wiring that lets this raise up and down. Once everything's raised back up, it'll stop beeping so you know it's safe to drive. And then if you have bikes unloaded and you wanna leave this in the hitch, you could bring these two sides of the tray up into this compact storage position. It'll certainly take up less space in the vehicle, but this is really more for garage storage. Whenever I do this, you'll see that we have two halves of a handle. When we bring those together, that gives us a good holding point along with the mast to lift it in and out of the hitch, as well as just being able to wheel it around our garage. At the bottom, you'll notice that we've got some casters here that help it roll around when it's not in the hitch. So moving it around and storing it is pretty easy. And it's a pretty unique feature because not a lot of bike racks have things like this and they can be really awkward to carry sometimes. At the hitch, you can see it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube. It comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt, that lock being key to like to the other locks around the bike rack. And the anti-rattle does a really good job of keeping things stable. 
the seven-way wiring that's connected to the bike rack reaches the plug on our Tahoe no problem and it doesn't leave too much slack hanging down either. And overall, if you're looking for a bike rack that's going to make it easy to carry e-bikes, this certainly is an option. I'd say it's maybe a better option if you're looking for something that's going to have built-in lighting functions at the back end to give us better turn signal visibility, and you're looking for a way to easily store it in your garage because that's really unique with this one. If you're looking for something that's going to give you better assistance loading up your bikes, I'd say look into something with a ramp. The Hollywood Axe Destination is my personal pick for that just because it has a really wide and a really stable ramp. Plus it's even got a 70 pound weight capacity for some heavier e-bikes. That one is much more bulky though, so storing it in your garage won't be as easy. But aside from that, I think each one's gonna have their strengths and each one will work pretty well with the Tahoe overall. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. Thanks for watching.